What's up, guys? So Jaden Daniels had another efficient day versus the Tennessee Titans. He threw for 206 yards, three touchdowns, one interception with a quarterback rating of 114.7. He is definitely going to be the offensive rookie of the year if he keeps this up. So let's go ahead and break down some of the plays, what really got things going for him. And some of these plays are not going to really knock the sock off of you. I'm not going to, I'm just going to be real, but this is what is making him so good and so efficient that he's playing within his game and he's playing within the system. And 100% Cliff Kingsbury is doing an amazing job with Jaden Daniels and it's going to get that guy another head coaching job. Right here, you see a lot of NFL teams do this. They motion to a hip set with two blockers. They're going to chip and release for checkdowns, and you're going to get two vertical routes down the field. This is where he's trying to take a shot. As we go through this snap, nobody really comes open. He steps up in the pocket, notices that he's got a lot of green grass, and he takes what the defense gives him, and then he gets down to not take that huge shot that you see some quarterbacks take. And this keeps him ahead of the sticks and allows them to have opportunities to pick up first downs like on the very next play. This very next play is a third and one. They just have a trip set to the left, and they're going triple slant right here, and you end up getting a soft man coverage on the left side, and Jaden Daniels able to take the football, get set, go through his progression, and get the ball out quick to get a first down right here. Take the snap, step, ball, rip it, first down, commanders. See it from the end zone copy. He does a really good job of having a, a really good base to himself. He's got a great base right here and that lead foot. He's just going to step, lead toe, lead shoulder to target, rip it, ball, great placement, and it picks up a first down. Just a couple plays later, they are in a jumbo set, 13 personnel, three tight ends, one back. They're going to motion one of these tight ends from right to left, and they're going to take a play-action shot play. Once again, the Titans have it fairly decently covered, even though the Titans' defense sucked on this day. Jaden Daniels does a really good job of scanning the field, not freaking out. Slide step, step up, see green grass, take what you can get, get down before you take the big hit. And once again, stay ahead of the chains. And this allows the offense to stay on schedule. It gives them more second and mediums, third and shorts rather than third and longs. Because he was able to stay ahead of the chains, this drive finds itself inside the five. They're going to go with an RPO run pass option here. Inside zone to the left with a quick now screen out of the tight end Zach Ertz to the flat. You're going to get a rub route at the top of the screen that's all well designed. Jaden Daniels is going to decide to pull this and try to throw his flat route right here. Now, from this spot, probably was not the greatest decision to pull it. He's got a defender in the throwing lane. He's got a defensive back who's trailing the flat. He's not in a great position right here, but he doesn't panic. He instantly puts his foot north, slide step one more again, and somehow he's able to find a way to get skinny where he almost just walks in for this touchdown. You're going to be able to see it great from the end zone here. Slow this down just to see all the moves that he's able to make and make so many defenders miss. Very Lamar Jackson-ish. Okay, so next drive. Back in the red zone area again. They go jumbo. 13, three, uh, 13 personnel, three tight ends, one back. They motion one into a fullback set. They're going to go play action. You're going to get a middle field sit route out of this tight end, a crossing route out of this tight end, and another crossing route late with the split in receiver, and then the fullback is going to be slipping out to the flat. You're going to see Jaden Daniels do a really good job of scanning the field. At first, he's trying to look into the flat, not there, work back left, get his feet set, and throw a perfect window ball into the end zone you'll be able to see it easier from the end zone copy as the wide copy glitched on us right here play action you can see his eyes are working to the right he's looking for that flat route first it's not there now you're going to see him start to scan back to the left find open grass to slide step and then place this ball exactly where it needed to be really good job hitting terry mclaurin on that one 
But it's not the easiest thing for young quarterbacks to be able to scan the field right to left, to not panic, to just tuck it and run, and to be able to slide to where that clear green grass is within that pocket. Later in the game, uh, this is to go up 28-0 on the Titans. Just another, once again, a low red zone area. But real quick, before we hit on this one, do me a favor. You must be liking this content as you're watching it. Please hit that subscribe button. Join this team. Help this channel grow. It's free, and that way you won't miss more film breakdowns like this. So once again, low red zone area. They're just going to run a fade from the slot and a quick slant out of Terry McLaurin. And Jaden Daniels, is he, he's able to put this ball exactly where he needs to be. If he puts it a little bit behind, if he puts it too high, all of those areas could be trouble, but he places it right where it needs to be. Even with a blitzing defender right in his face, it does not matter. You see the excitement he plays with right there. You'll see it from the end zone copy where he had that defender right in his passing lane. Right here, I mean, the defender off the slot comes off of a quick blitz, and then they've got just zero on the outside over there. Doesn't freak him out too much. He's able to just change his arm direction and put a well-placed ball right there for Terry for six. All right, so now let's run through this series. What ended up starting at their own 25, and he gets it into the end zone. Isolate Terry McLaurin on the right side. One step. Ball is out right now for a quick slant route. This was a third and medium, and it picks up a first down. Look at the footwork right here from Jaden Daniels. Like I say, does a really good job with his base. Flip his hips, snap the ball out right now. If it's any late or if it's any high, all of these balls could be placed in a bad scenario, but he's doing a really good job of staying ahead of his own game right here. Cliff Kingsbury draws up a nice little play action toss right off of here. They're going to fake toss, strong toss to the right here. Then you got one tight end on a crossing route. Then you got Zach Ertz on a delayed block, release up the seam. And then Jaden Daniels able to hit him right in that spot. Once again, it, it, these seem easy and they're not seeming like throws that are just like, wow, I mean, I, I could do that. It, it looks like you can do that because he's, he's doing it all with perfect timing, getting the ball out. None of these balls are misplaced, back, high, low, anything like that. They look like routine plays. And that's a compliment to Jaden Daniels. Right here, Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury does a really good job of helping his young quarterback on first and 10. Quick little motion, then get the ball out of his hands right now with a quick screen, and then good things happen. That motion is so subtle because it softens that defense. That defense starts to flow to the right. Now the ball is going right back left. It's great play calling by Cliff. Now, I like this one. Zach Ertz right here is in a sniffer set. They got 12 personnel, two tight ends, one back. They're faking ISO. He's going to act like he inserts. Then he's patient, slips right off. Jane Daniels gets a little bit of pressure, backs up, throws this ball, fading away. The defender falls down. But once again, he's able to put this ball on the body of his receiver, and it's another touchdown. Jaden Daniels has been able to do this so far all year, and he's having an incredible rookie season. He's passed for 2,819 yards, 15 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, with a quarterback rating of 99.4. If you ask me, sounds like he's going to be the offensive rookie of the year. Let me know what you guys think about Jaden Daniels in the comments section below. As always, watch this next video. It's a good one, too. Stay humble. Stay kind. Peace.